So you need a rugged hard case that'll fit into the overhead compartment on an airplane. And you're trying to choose between the HPRC 2550 and the Pelican 1510. Well, let me save you the time. Go with the Pelican. Now, I'm no Pelican fanboy. I've used Pelican cases before, but this is the first Pelican case I've owned, and I bought the HPRC first. I gave it a fair shake, but I wasn't impressed with its overall quality. As soon as I took it out of the box, the first thing I noticed was the texture of the plastic. It's hard to put into words, but it reminded me of some kind of children's toy. It's much rougher than the surface of the Pelican. After it came out of the box, the first thing I did was open it up. The inside has a glossy texture, which in of itself is fine, but it gives the case a cheap feel. What really did it for me was when I closed the lid. Hear that? That's the sound of plastic against plastic, and it's because the lid doesn't precisely line up with the base. It's offset slightly in this direction. It's barely noticeable visually, maybe a millimeter at most, but it's enough to make me second guess HPRC's quality. The Pelican's lid lines up perfectly. Also, you can see the lid is pretty easy to move from side to side. Of course, it's plastic, so it deforms. It's just it's much easier to do this on the HPRC than the Pelican. But the lid does seal just fine when it gets into position. And look at this. There's a lot more space in the middle here than near the edges. That means that there isn't even pressure being applied to the O-ring. It's either being over-compressed here or under-compressed here. The Pelican has a much more even gap in that same spot. A major design difference between these two is their latches. The Pelican has a double action latch. It clicks up once, and at this point the case is still completely sealed. Move it up one more time, and it's open. The HPRC falls short here. The latch sorta has a double action, but in this position, it's no longer sealed. Worse yet, if I flip the latch up really quickly, it pops open right in one move. But the HPRC does have one positive side to its design. The latches are completely inset behind these rails. On the Pelican, the latches stick out by a bit, so they could get knocked open by accident. Don't worry though, the Pelican wins again when it comes to the thickness of the plastic. Next to the latches, both cases have holes to attach a lock. The Pelican is ahead here again on four points. The holes are larger, meaning you can fit a heavier lock. They're reinforced with steel, there's more plastic around the edge of the holes, and the plastic is thicker. Let's talk about the wheels. The first thing you'll notice is that they're on the right side of the HPRC and the left side of the Pelican. The second thing you'll see is that the wheels in the HPRC are bigger by about half an inch in diameter. They're about two and a quarter inches on the Pelican and almost two and three quarters on the HPRC. That's a double-edged sword. On the one hand, larger wheels mean a smoother ride over rough surfaces like asphalt and tile floors, but the larger wheels in the HPRC intrude into the case more. On the Pelican, they stick in by less than two inches, but on the HPRC it's more than two and a half. That's not only because the wheels are larger, but on the Pelican, the wheel axles are half an inch from the edge of the case, whereas on the HPRC, they're inset by three quarters of an inch. Speaking of the wheels, the Pelican's wheels are part of a module that screws into the body of the case. That makes them very easy to change out if they get damaged. On the HPRC, the wheel axles are pressed into the plastic of the case, meaning that you have a hard, if not impossible, time of replacing them yourself. Another mark of quality for the Pelican is that the wheel axles are a bit thicker than on the HPRC. Another major difference between the two cases are the extending handles. When I saw pictures of both online, I thought that the HPRC had a better looking handle, and it just seemed to be more elegantly designed. When comparing the cases side by side, I found the HPRC has a very stupid handle design that fails on two major points. The first is ease of use. I'm reaching for the Pelican in sort of, at sort of a weird angle, yet it can still operate the handle pretty easily. The HPRC is not as simple. The handle has to be unfolded, then extended. 
it slides to the side to release. That's a two-handed operation, which is a pain in the ass if you're holding a coffee in one hand and trying to extend the handle with the other. Yeah, you can push the case up against your knee or a wall, or even a knee wall, but why should you have to? Then there's another release to extend the pull. If you actually have your hand on the handle, you can't reach the release. It's all the way down here. I said it fails on two major points, right? Well, here's the second. Just like the wheel, the handle intrudes significantly into the case. That protrusion, or I guess intrusion, depending on how you want to look at it, is almost an inch deep and five inches high. By contrast, on the Pelican, that's about half an inch of intrusion on the diagonal. Incidentally, the handle inside on the bottom of the case is three eighths of an inch tall. As best as I can measure it, it seems that the depth of 7.83 inches listed on the specs for the HPRC is from the top of that inset to the underside of the lid. At first I thought they were trying to cheat me out of space, but it's fine. Now the downside is that the bottom of the case is lumpy. On the Pelican, it's smooth. Looks like the extending handles in both cases are user replaceable, though I haven't taken them apart. But the Pelican does win points with me for having only six Phillips head screws to deal with compared to 10 hex head screws in the HPRC. Oh, and that really nice looking handle pole on the HPRC? It's made of thin gauge aluminum compared to the beefy plastic on the Pelican. I'm not doing a destruction test here, but which one do you think would get bent out of shape if the case fell in a bad way with the handle extended? Now, as for handles, there are three handles on the Pelican. In addition to the extending handle, there's another one on the end and one over here on the side. The HPRC only has the one handle on the side. I'd hesitate to use the extending handle to lift a fully loaded case, especially when it's collapsed, because I wouldn't want to break the mechanism. Otherwise, the fixed handles on both cases are roughly comparable. They're made of thick plastic and have rubberized grips. In my opinion, the Pelican is a better feel, both in the ineffable sense of quality and the actual feel of the grip. One of the big questions that everyone asks is foam or padded dividers? That's really a matter of what using the case for. I went with dividers because I wanted the flexibility to take different gear with me to different situations. Once you pick out the little pieces of foam, you're kind of set on what you can take with you. The foam does provide better padding against shock and vibration, but it also makes for less efficient use of space. So it's something you're going to have to consider and decide for yourself. The dividers that came with my Pelican aren't filled with the same soft foam you find in most camera cases. They're harder, but have a decent amount of give to them. They feel solidly made though. I got the HPRC case empty, but I really didn't like the look of the optional divider kit. In this product photo, the sides and bottom appear to have thicker padding than what you get on the Pelican, but the dividers themselves look like real flimsy uncoated foam that's just friction fit in there. The Pelican's dividers are held in place with strong Velcro on both the sides and the bottom. Another common question I've seen online is, what can the case hold? Well, that depends on a number of things. I managed to fit a lot of stuff in there. A DSLR with battery grip fits just about perfectly in the height and width of the case. I've also got a Rode video mic, a wind muff, a Sony Handycam, space for a couple of LED light panels that I'm actually using right now, a lens, a USB hard drive, some odds and ends and brackets, various cables, lots of batteries, chargers, ND filters, and a couple of other knickknacks. By the way, the foam in the lid is friction fit. I chose not to get the lid organizer because I'd rather have the protection of the foam. Like I said in the beginning, get the Pelican. The HPRC 2550 isn't a bad case. If you can pick one up cheap, use it to hold your less valuable stuff like clothes or cables. Despite the negatives I pointed out today, I got mine for 105 bucks on Amazon, and I think it was worth that. By the way, only the red one was that cheap, about 50 bucks less than any other color. But as of the time I'm saying this, the empty HPRC in any color costs more than the Pelican 1510 with foam, so the Pelican's a no-brainer. Even if things flip around and the Pelican is the more expensive choice, it's worth the money. I mean, are you really going to let an extra 50 bucks stand between you getting the best possible protection for your gear? Thanks for watching my HPRC 2550 versus Pelican 1510 review. For more, check out my blog at s.co.tt/pelican.